I'm gonna tell you a few things that you should never say if you're working in sales. Definitely subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any future updates with Sales Mastery. I post sales tips every single week. I'm gonna jump right into this. When you're working in sales, I hear people say this all the time, it makes me cringe. I'm gonna be honest with you. If you use that expression, I'm gonna be honest with you. In the middle of a pitch, the thing that people hear is, well now he's gonna be honest with me. So. Everything he said to me before this is bullshit. And usually he wouldn't be honest, but today he's just gonna be honest with me. At least that's what he's telling me. Do I believe that? No. So don't ever say I'm gonna be honest with you. Find something else to say. And I know that people just say it as a way to generally just give themselves a chance to figure out the next thing that they're gonna say. If you find yourself wanting to say, I'm gonna be honest with you, there's a lot of different alternatives. So I don't just wanna give you the problem, I wanna give you the solution here. So a lot of times if I want to give myself a minute to just regroup and figure out the next rebuttal that I'm gonna use or the next angle that I'm gonna take with the sale, I'll ask a question to the client. And a lot of times the answer to the question doesn't matter one way or another, or it could be a yes question, a question that you're expecting the answer of it to be yes. And the psychology behind that is that people say that if the client or prospect has already said yes a few times before you ask for the deal, that they're basically, you're getting them to practice saying yes. I don't know if there's any logic to that or if it's just something that salespeople tell each other, but you know, it's something that people definitely use as a technique. But you know, the question could be anything. I mean, depending on the product or service you're selling, you could say, uh, you know, when was the last time you purchased X, Y, and Z product? Or when was the last time you hired a company to handle this problem for you? You could just ask a question to get, to get yourself just asking the question alone. That gives you a second while you're saying it. And then while they're coming up with their answer and answering the question, you could already figure out where you're going to go next while actively listening. You, you know, you want to make sure that you hear what they're saying because if they say something important, that's going to help you get closer to the deal, then that could be helpful as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, that's the first thing that you definitely never want to say when you're making a sale. I'm going to do a whole series of things you should never say when you're in sales. So definitely if this was helpful to you, click the like button, hit the subscribe button, make sure you come back next time. I'm trying to add as much value as I can every single week. So I appreciate you guys watching this one, and I'll see you guys next week.